Hello and welcome to how to mod anything with uh, audio. So, I uh, hope I can do this quick. Let's see. I'm going to start with this. We're going to borrow this, 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 and this, and this, and this. Because these are all already set up to visualize like some audio. I'll go into here. Make a new folder, sky modding. Because the example is going to be modding the sky, right? It could be any parameter, but this is what it is. Okay, sky modding, yo, 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 yo. Save. Save it. And then, since I in the early level I copied it, I'll paste the stuff. You see it's here. Also, we need a sky. So, sun and sky actor, it's pretty cool. Might be a plugin needed here, but uh, whatever. It's beautiful. And then... Uh, maybe a floor. We don't really need a floor, but yeah, we need a floor. It was a lie. Okay. Boom. Um, it's so bright. Okay, here we are. Auto adjusting. Nice. So, the sun sky. We want to mod some kind of parameter on this thing, right? So, let's say we want to go into the actual atmosphere and we want to mess with this maybe whoa like the how foggy it is kind of or maybe this i don't know yeah let's try this mia absorption scale okay save the level we need a new blueprint we call it uh, an actor just anything this is going to be in level uh, sky mother and save it so if i just play now before we use this see what the stuff we copied is this right? It's a bit funky now, I think. Let's see. Frequency slots. Yeah, they are all slot 2 for some reason. I can't remember it being like this in that level. So I go into the analyzer, I see the slots. Let's say we want to visualize 100 hertz, that slot 1 and uh, 804 and uh, 246. So 1, 4, 6. One, four, six, and now they should be different because they listen to it. Yeah, the bass, mid, upper mid. Okay, so let's say you want to use the bass. We want to use the same as this, but instead of doing this to the box, we want to do the stuff to the sky, right? We want to be like swoosh swoosh in the atmosphere on the me something i can't even remember absorption scale yeah psh, psh, psh. so for, uh, what we can do is uh, just drag this in already this uh, empty actor there's it doesn't do anything it's invisible even but uh, we save everything i go in and uh, let's see <coughs> i'm a bit a light cold hope it's not corona let's see so uh, what we need is uh, we want a reference to uh, this thing the same as these uses we can go inside this to cheat if you don't know what's happening here um, so what it does it gets the beautifier which is this thing and all these three like here the music is playing this is the one that's analyzing the submix and this is the one that is making it beautiful like how it moves to make it smooth and stuff and extra extra tricks and these are the visualizers so these just ask this for the latest beautiful value of like the volume so we want to do the same inside this thing right so in this it gets the reference that's uh, this one you have to choose the one from the level right and they get the final smoothed output values from analysis that's the level thing you want and this is the frequency shot, like which of them we get because this is all of them the whole list of frequencies but we only want like one of them right this one and that's the one we're actually going to use to mod the sky so we need uh this uh, we need to be able to reference to do this right to actually connect to this so inside the sky mother we add a variable plus and we say uh, beautifier reference and right now it's not a b it's red it's a boolean it's a yes no thing right it's just like this but we can go here and we can search beautifier so now compile and we have it and we can go back but 
uh, and select it, but oh, oh, it's not here. We can't do the same as here, so we have to go in. And we can hit the eye here. And now it will be visible if you select it. Boom, here it is, and we can select it. Right now it's nothing. We can also, instead of using this, we can go select the add then uh, in the thing, <laughs> the reference, and in here in the details, we can hook off instance editable. So watch the eye and watch this, and you see they will actually, if you enable one, the other is, they are connected. They are the same, actually. So we'll say yes, editable, uh, save it. So already this is kind of working. Uh, this is ready to have this in the level, but we can do it after. So we got the beautifier and we want to get the latest, not the magnitudes, the final, get the final, like this is confusing. I should fix this like, but yeah, this is the one. This is the beautiful one with all the extra stuff, all the niceties, all the tricks. And we want to get uh, just one from the list. We don't want to use the whole thing. We could do the whole thing. We could average all of them. But right now, I'm just going to do like this. And we're going to say promote this to variable as well as so we can choose. So uh, freak slot to listen to. And also make this visible, right? Compile. And we can just drag off promote to variable. Because this we want to save and use in this blueprint. This is going to be the latest volume thing. Um, and we want to do this like not just once but all the time like continuously because it's always updating not just once we want to like know the volume every frame so we do it on the tick because that's always right this always only goes once this is for one collision whatever so now we're getting the latest volume uh, and we can save and you can even if you look at it now you can like now we even see now it's zero but if we say like two here right or one it was the same as that and we hit play <laughs> wait let's do one more thing uh, let's uh, add just a little thing just a sphere just so you can see the see it here right so i'll simulate mm, oh yeah so this is not going because we didn't point it to this specific one in the level right so I'll do like this and notice if we had we can have more of all this so if we do like this you can see we have both of them in the list right here but uh, we only need one so now if I hit play look here this is the volume now it's updating every frame this is happening in uh, in here every frame this is being updated so now we got the volume. They, this is the output from this is always zero to one. It's not, that's called normalizing. It's normal, so we can it's predictable. So now we also need uh, want to do something to the sky, right? We want to mess with the actual sky actors. So add a new variable sun sky thing reference. Also, I just hide the latest volume because we don't actually need to look at it. In the, it's just confusing, right? I'll make it visible. And we have to change the type to sun sky because that's the type of the sun sky, right? You see it here, sun sky, we got it from here. So I can close this actually. So uh, now we got the sun sky reference. Again, we can go back here and we have to actually point it to the sun sky. Now inside here, we know that, like, if you look inside the sun sky, we want to get the not just this, we could just set the time, we could move the time with, uh, or like the sun position with the music. But we decided to do Mia scattering or something, right? So we have to go into the atmosphere and then find this, uh, this value, right? And we want to this value, and we want to move this. So we go in here and we get, we just drag out the sun sky thing and it will just think that it works, assume it, and we'll get the, uh, get component by class and then we can find the atmospheric fog component I think that was it right what is this sky atmosphere component it says sky sky atmosphere component yeah here it is okay so we get that and once we have the component we should probably 
uh, you should remember, instead of asking, like getting going into this and finding this, searching the component every time, we can just, this we can actually just do once and just store the results. So we go on begin play, we'll ask for this, we'll drag off and promote it. Just like a hello, this, just a, like a pointer to it. So uh, we call it uh, atmospheric fog component reference, so like this. And this is only once on the beginning of starting playing the level because you only need to get it once and now it will remember it by doing this. So we have it. And then when once we have this, right, we can drag off here and we can get like we can go into the fog, I think, and find. The, yeah, look at this. All this stuff is only available when dragging off from the reference to this thing. We can't just do it here. It wouldn't be here. Uh, you can also drag off here just to get the same reference as this. And once we are here, we know that begin play or got called on the beginning of the level, right? So we get it, and it was me uh, scattering, I think. What was it? A scattering scale, I think. Let's double check. Me uh, absorption scale we want to do, right? Uh, not, okay. Mia absorption scale. Here it is, okay? Great. So, and we can just start updating it. But we can't just put zero to one in, right? Because, or maybe we can, but if we look at the sky and the atmosphere and we go here and we hit zero, there's this, if we hit one, it's completely black. So maybe we could use zero to one, but let's pretend it was something else. We want to actually just go from zero point. Let's say we want to go from here to to there, to point five. Okay. We know that this is zero to one because I told you that, and because that's what's happening inside other stuff. So we can drag off this. This is the value. We can either do like this or get it again here. It's the same. It doesn't matter. I'll do it like this, but you could do like, just drag off this. It's exactly the same. So what we want, this is a number, right? Zero to one, it's moving a lot between zero and one, depending on the music or whatever. So what we want is to map that range, map it to a new range. So zero to one, we want to map to something else, namely zero point something, something to 0 0.5. So I'll do like this. I don't think like clamp or unclamp doesn't matter in this case, because we know the input isn't gonna, so yeah, never mind. Just do what you want here. Zero to one. This is the input. We know that the input will be between zero to one, right? The minimum is zero, maximum is one. So this is that, and then the, uh, this is the output of this. So if we say that we wanted to start at this value, we can put that there, and we want to end up at. So that is the minimum. So when it's at zero, when this is at zero, the volume, it will be at this. When it's at one, which is the maximum volume ever, it'll be at 0.5, right? So this will now output, like float just like this, move to the music, but instead of doing this, it will do this. And you can just plug it, bang. And now we should actually be good. So I'll save it, I'll save everything, even though I shouldn't maybe, whatever. Um, and now, since I think this is pointed to both, yeah, and it's listening to this, the sky should be cool when you hit play now. Yeah, man. So, oh, and it's gonna crash now because it that happens sometimes. But it worked. Everybody saw it. I did save. Uh, and uh, oh wow, it isn't didn't even crash. It just froze. But yeah, this this is the this is the thing. So, uh, we. So I think. Uh, yeah, that's all we need to know. I was actually planning to do like some to move the colors as well, which is a bit different, but uh, with some lurping and shit. But whatever, we you got the you got the idea. So good luck and have fun. <laughs>